You've probably already heard the term that you should proudly own your authentic self. Well, I have a question for you. Are you ready to embrace the power of being unapologetic? Today, we're going to be uncovering three compelling reasons why you should be we're going to dive into it. Now, I know all too well the criticism that can loom from you confidently expressing yourself like I'm doing right here. So trust me, you're not alone. You're not alone when you're trying to embrace the power of being unapologetic. Three compelling reasons. Let's get into them here shortly. Now, I want you to get ready for some game-changing, you know, this game-changing discussion that we're going to have because by the end of this video, You'll be inspired to stand tall, to speak your truth, to be unapologetically yourself. Listen, this is your moment. I'm going to say it again. This is your moment. The truth of the matter is, whether you think it is or whether you think it's not, you're right. So I'm telling you, this is your moment. Go ahead and say it with me. This is my moment. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Now, as we explore the reasons, the three reasons I said are really compelling, uh, we're going to address a couple of questions, right? What does it mean to be unapologetic? How can it possibly impact my life or the life of people around me? So I would like for you to stay tuned for some eye-opening insights. Let's go. Listen, shy speech, shy speech, shy speech, shy speech. Shy speech, shy speech. Reason number one, authenticity breeds connection. Now, I want you to discover, listen, when you, when you really get into being unapologetic, you'll discover how it leads to deeper, more meaningful connections. Now, you can only discover it if you implement these things, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you for a fact that authenticity breeds connections. So I want to share a quote with you that I found from a guy named Lance Secretan or Secretan. He says, authenticity is alignment of your head, mouth, heart, and feet thinking, saying, feeling, and doing the same thing consistently. This Builds trust. Followers love leaders they can trust. Lance, come on, sir. That, that's a that's a solid statement. It sounded like I was about to say something else. Followers love leaders they can trust. Dot dot dot. No period. Okay. But in my opinion, this is not just a leader follower phenomenon when it comes to authenticity breeding connection. The truth of the matter is when your mouth, your head, and your heart and your feet what you're thinking, saying, and feeling, you're all, you're doing all the same things consistently. That just be, breeds trust amongst people, period. People love people that they can trust. And also, um, people can tell exactly where you are and how they align with you and where they don't align with you. So maybe, for example, maybe your mouth is matching. Maybe what you're saying and what they're saying are the same things. Hey, we're we're aligned right here because we're saying and championing the same causes. Or maybe where your feet goes and where their feet goes is aligning. Like, hey, I'm always seeing you out and about doing the things that I do. That means that you're passionate about the things that I'm passionate or we intertwine or overlap in ways right here. So it is a really great way for people to know where they get on and where they possibly could get off with you. So anyway, what I want you to understand is where you match, wherever you match with people, you form deeper alignments in that area. So when I say that being unapologetic breeds connection, I want you to understand that it really breeds connection because it makes you go deeper. Like we're connected in a deeper way. I can see exactly who you are and I can see where I align with you. So I can say, hey, I actually do this person now. I don't align with all their views, but as it relates to right here, right? See, that's what happens when you're being una when you're being unapologetic, being authentic. I'm going to keep it moving. I just want you to know that being authentic is woven into the foundation of genuine connection. Reason number two is confidence and empowerment. Being, being unapologetic can boost your self-esteem. Let me repeat that again. Reason number two is confidence and empowerment. 
being unapologetic can boost your self-esteem. When we think about being unapologetic, we think about how it's going to spew off to others, what other people are going to be able to get out of me being this way. But truthfully, it's going to boost your own self-esteem. By embracing your own uniqueness without apology, you're tapping into a well of inner strength that can propel you into success. If you want to be successful, you cannot rely on external forces only. You have to have an internal strength, and that only comes from confidence and empowerment, and that only comes from being unapologetic. Well, it can come from other ways, but I'm telling you, being unapologetic is one of the main ones. Number three, and I'm going to keep it moving. The third reason is that you can impact positive change. Being unapologetic can cause a ripple effect of transformation, right? So some buddies of mine have a record label where are part of a record label called Reach Records and Reach Records uh, coined this term 116. It was all about the theme that they had for the record label and the movement was to be unashamed of the gospel. According to Romans 1 16, which says that I am unashamed of the gospel for it is the power of God unto salvation and so on. And it's a beautiful scripture. I don't want to give it to you. I want you to go read it on your own. Romans 1 16. But I'm going somewhere with this when I talk about creating a ripple of positive change or a ripple effect of transformation. So because these gentlemen who are part of this record label embrace this idea that I want to be unashamed. He calls other people to not want to be unashamed. So much so that, matter of fact, let me let me show you. Let's let's go ahead and check this. Boom, there we go. So these were some of the guys who were a part of the 116 movement at the time, right? So this is Tadashi, Lecrae, Trip Lee, Show Baraka, and they had this whole movement, and they had something like 116 Man Up, and it was just 116 everything. It was a lot of 116 things. And one of the things that they did is they had a logo built around 116. Well, the logo, the logo wound up being tattooed, tattoos that all of these guys embraced on their body. And then after that, it caused a chain reaction of other people who did it. So somebody took time to actually start compiling an actual Instagram page of all the people who too have tatted the scripture Romans 1 16 on their body. So as you can see, this person, this person, let's, let's, let's kind of scroll here. Boom, 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 right? Boom. I mean, okay, that's a, that's a, that did a little uniqueness there. Okay, boom. Using the same logo, right? Every single time putting that same type of scripture on. And basically what I'm saying is I'm not here to advocate for the tattoo in and of itself. I actually don't have any tattoos. I believe my body and your body is already a natural work of art, but that's not what this video is about. The video is about the fact that because they embrace this ideology, this theme, if you will, of being unashamed, they tattooed it on their hearts beyond what they were doing for the body. The body was just a, a, a outward expression of what was going on inside, right? So they tattooed this on their bodies. They tattooed this on their heart and they embraced this ethos. But for you, maybe it's something else. Maybe it's different for you. Maybe it's embracing a different ethos that's going to affect your friends and your family and your community. Maybe it's something that you do. Maybe it's a passion that you have, or maybe it's a cause that you are advocating for unapologetically that will spark change and a conviction of involvement with others. I'm just telling you, when you unapologetically pursue your passions and stand up for what's right, you become a beacon of inspiration. So listen. Your actions can ignite change in the world when you are unapologetic. Now, I am going to be talking a little bit more. I'm going to actually erect a private interpersonal conversation with a small group of people in the Team Shot Speaks private community where I'm going to be talking about some practical tips on how to embrace uh, your unapologetic self. Uh, we're going to be talking about some of the things that we've been doing to navigate challenges in our lives. I think we can all learn a lot from each other. Now, if you are not a part of the Team Shot Speaks community, I encourage you to head over to Patreon. Go to Patreon, type in Shot Speaks, and you can find out all about it. Pledge at your level of commitment. Get involved. You'll be able to be invited to a private Facebook group. But anyway, back to the topic at hand. I want to talk to you about it over there. But listen, 
we can talk about it right here. So as we conclude, I want you to remember that being unapologetic is, it's not about being arrogant, right? It's about being authentically yourself. It's about being confident. It's about the power of positive impact. I want you to embrace it and watch your life transform. If you're ready to embark on this journey, I want you to hit the like button, okay? If you have not already, subscribe to this channel and share your own unapologetic stories in the comments below. Let's inspire each other to be ourselves. Without further ado, I want to thank you for watching this video and I want to encourage you to go out there and be unapologetic. Listen, shy speech, shy speech, shy speech, shy speech.